with YorkNewsTimes.com. I'm at the City Auditorium here in New York where dozens upon dozens of people have come here today uh, to discuss a proposed uh, project that would extend uh, the Keystone XL pipeline through York County. Now, the actual pipeline itself would run um, more than 2,000 miles from Alberta, Canada, all the way down to the Texas Gulf Coast. Um, it would, at a minimum, pump 700,000 barrels of crude oil a day, um, and with um, additional pumping stations, would actually could go up to 900,000. Uh, we are being told also that the plans right now are to have an actual pumping station uh, near Exeter, which is just south of York. Um, and we actually got an, an opportunity to see where it would run. It looks like it would actually uh, cross Highway 34 approximately three miles west of York, and then again uh, it would cross Highway 81 about four miles south of York. So if that gives you some idea of the diagonal that it would follow. Uh, so people did have some environmental concerns. They wanted to know what would happen if there was ever a leak or if something would break. Now officials with the company say that it is their responsibility that if there would ever be a leak, not only do they have to fix it, they also have to clean it up and pay for all future damages. So if someone's cropland uh, was affected, let's say 10 years down the road, they would have to pay them 10 years for the crops that they would have grown on that ground. Uh, they said they're trying to make concessions and they want to work with the property owners. In approximately two months, they will be contacting individual property owners uh, to discuss specifically their land and how it could affect them. Again, this is Melanie Wilkinson with YorkNewsTimes.com.